the structure. Welcome, good day, and hello to silent time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Over a long time, for centuries, probably thousands of years, people are used to be in hierarchies on a small scale as well as on a big scale, studying in the smallest communities, in the families, someone takes the lead in certain areas, in companies, in armies, in villages, but also in nations and countries, certain hierarchies, structures are there. It all has their advantages and disadvantages. As long as there are human leaders and hierarchies, it all has their advantages and disadvantages. There are still positives and negatives. As long as humans are there, there is goodwill, there is also evil will, constructive thinking and destructive, good and evil, godly things, to follow to God, to his commands, but also destructive, destroying things, devilish structures and thoughts and demons. The best leader of all, the perfect one, the holy one, is God himself. And he also establishes his congregation. It already starts in this world. Jeremiah 30, verse 20, God says, The congregation shall be established firmly before me, and it will be completed in this spiritual world, in his kingdom, where there is only holiness, only perfect love, nothing wrong, nothing that destroys, that harms each other, but only goodness. And that victory is won. As long as we are there, we also have to admit that we are not perfect as well. If we are honest, nobody of us is perfect. It's that we do not deserve to participate in God's kingdom. But the victory has been won. God had the patience with us. He gives us forgiveness gives us grace. In Jesus Christ, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord. Ephesians 2 verse 21. The best possible hierarchy with God on top. Lord, we thank you that we can participate in your structure. On this earth, there is a lot of imperfections. There are good things, but there is also still a lot of evil from other people within ourselves and especially from the enemy, from the devil. But you have won the victory over all the evils, over devil and death, over sin, over hell. We thank you that you establish your structure, your congregation, and we thank you that we can participate, that it does not count how much we have achieved or accomplished, that it only counts that you have won the victory. You are almighty, the creator of the universe, and you are also our savior. Thank you for your grace, for your help. Praise and glory and honor be to you forever. Amen.